Hey, how's it going everyone? Today they added a banner to Blazing, which is a Blazing Bash banner, and it's for Itachi and Shusui. Now, I'm not going in on this banner because I already have both, like, every unit pretty much except for one of them. And it's not really a banner that's worth going into, in my opinion. But, so, we have this Itachi, which I got a little bit while ago, and then the Shisui, which I've had for a long time. This Itachi right here is the only one that I don't have, but I think it's still cool that they did it in honor of Itachi's birthday. That's pretty dope. So, in honor of that, we're going to be doing some PvP with the tag team duo one of my favorite duos in Naruto as well Shisui and Itachi so this is gonna be pretty fun so this is a team that I'm gonna be taking as you can see in the last row that's where we really switch things up I got rid of my boy Obito put the Shisui back on which is who I used to use I mean his speed is really close to Obito's so it's not gonna be too big of a difference but I don't know if you guys remember what this Shisui actually does because not that many people use him nowadays his Jutsu can roll back people's speed so literally this team right here is gonna be sending everybody back and then Itachi's quite a tank so that'll be pretty cool to have as well he's kind of like the Hinata in that aspect so yeah this is the team I'm gonna be taking let's jump into it all right so this is a good first game to jump into it for Shisu at least because he can get one shot pretty easily so we're gonna need to be careful here but we're faster than all his units it seems like right here so yeah we should be fine we're just gonna send them all back as far as we can yeah, this will be good. Okay, we have to be careful though, because this Shisui's health is very low. Um, that's the one reason I stopped using him, because the man's health is low. If you can't break over 30k, you're going to be having issues, which is why I was finally glad to get Minato's first ability. But alright, we'll send Obito back. He's pretty weak as well though. Sashirama is faster, unfortunately, but that's okay, because... Either way, we'll be fine. Um, we're going to kill off that Obito for sure. We might actually lose Shisui. Oh no, he's targeting my Minato though. Okay, so that's fine. I was gonna say, because Shisui can't sustain like two Jutsus for sure, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and instead of using my Sage Mode Naruto, we'll save that and we'll go ahead and we'll use Final Valley Naruto because I'm gonna try to kill this Obito off. Now, that does risk the chance of me getting immobilized by his Indra, but I'll take that as long as I can get a kill out of it then i'll take that because we also got some damage onto the kcm naruto so we could try to come in with shisui but he doesn't really do too much damage so it's mostly just gonna roll him back and then maybe we could come in with minato and kill off the kcm naruto all right so yeah we're in a good position actually as long as these immobilizations don't land too heavily and they did not land at all perfect boy that's what i'm talking about all right so we're gonna come in at this man right here this will hopefully send him back behind the sasuke if not maybe kill him that's that's the goal right here boy Oh, no, it did not kill him. And ah, uh, he's so much faster than Sasuke, too, man. See, that's that's why I stopped using Shisui, man. His Jutsu does more than the Wisdom Obito's, but it does no damage, man. Like, it's so weak. It's not even funny. But that's completely fine. At least Sasuke was able to survive here. But he got immobilized. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying. All right, so Sasuke is going to die, and Naruto is going to die, but that's completely fine. We'll come in with the other units. We're still going to have speed, and this man's running out of chakra, so that's completely fine with me. It's just unfortunate. But, okay, so we're going to send this Injure back because that man's the closest one to come, and we're going to have to be careful here because these counters might actually kill off my Minato, but they're all bunched together. There's not much I can really do there. Ooh, we're gonna have to keep it close there, especially with that <laughs> with that um slip damage. Alright, so now we'll go and we'll hit this man because this is gonna do a lot of damage to him. It'll also bring back the KCM dude out. So we can go ahead and deal with him. And then we'll switch over to Itachi. It's just my Minato man. He's he's hurting right now, and that slip damage is hurting him for sure. But luckily he's not in it. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna hit all three of his units right here, like so. Hopefully Minato can come in and kill off. Actually, no, we won, yeah. It was very close, though. And if my Minato was literally an inch lower, he would be dying from that slip damage. So we got a lucky break this time, fortunately enough. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go and we'll attack this Sasuke. I'm going to come down here just so I don't risk getting hit as well. And there we go, man. The Shisui just does no damage, but... He was still pretty good for the speed game, and I was able to send him back and catch back up. This team's really good for speed, that's why I like it, although you can have faster teams, of course. But, I mean, the Shisui, you know, over the Obito, he's still a little bit slower, but at least his Jutsu does something. So what's really good about, like, this combination of the top row is that they're all really fast, but they can also all send units back, which is really good as well. All right, so let's take a look at this man's Minato. Okay, so his Minato is probably going to be the same as mine, yeah, but I did pull host, that's good. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send this dude back, and then that means my Sage Monarto will be faster than his. Um, I did go ahead and switch Itachi and Final Valley Naruto around because Shisui is more likely to die than Sage Monarto. So that way, at least we don't have a slow Itachi out on the field <laughs> at all times. Uh, right here, I really don't know because he's probably gonna immobilize. I mean, if he tries to immobilize Shisui though, Shisui is gonna die. Like, that's just what's gonna happen. So we might as well go ahead and just send this man back then. Maybe I should have sent back. I don't know. I should have sent back maybe Sage Mo Naruto, but. Mm. I don't know, I'd rather kill off this Minato and send that dude all the way back, because at least my Minato will catch up. Because, I don't know, either way, the Shisui's probably going to die, because <laughs> he can't take anything. If Kirin Sasuke would have hit him, he would have died, but then we still would have had Minato to worry about, so. This is better for me right here, at least. Alright, now, oh man, but Rage Obito's going to come in and hit my Minato, chill out, bro. <laughs> Oh man, I thought we would outspeed that Naruto. Okay, so maybe it would have been better to have gone for that <laughs> Sage Mo Naruto. It's all good though. At least we haven't lost any units yet, so that's good so far. I mean, we're gonna start losing some here, but at least we took one of his out. That's really the important thing here. So, and he went for my Naruto. I mean, I get what he's doing, but now we could go for Sage Mo Naruto. <laughs> now we're gonna go for this man. Hopefully, this will immobilize. And then we'll come in with Itachi and we should be able to rack up the damage on both of those two down here. So that's really good. And it missed. Okay then. <laughs> that's fine. We'll still come in and do this. I don't know if this will be enough to kill the Sage Monarto. I would have taken an immobilization over that though because the Final Valley Naruto or Sasuke I mean, is going to come in and he's going to hurt. But it's okay. Itachi's quite of a tank. So that, that's completely fine with me. Even if he grabs his damage up, it, it should be completely fine. I just wish my Final Valley Naruto would wake up already, but this guy's running out of chakra. He did get a chakra reset with that Sasuke, unfortunately, though. But that's completely fine. And then there will come out my Minato as well. We're gonna need to be careful here, though, because <laughs> this dude is about to. Ooh, he's about to come in with that Sasuke and destroy me. He actually made a mistake here. You should not have went for Final Valley Naruto, bro. You should have went for Minato. Because now at least my Shisui can come in, and my Shisui is the only one with the Jutsu. So this dude kind of just messed up, really. This should kill off Sasuke. If not, we can come in with Minato and at least hit him with a normal attack, please. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that dude really messed up, bro. That was a close game. But he, he just messed up because you shouldn't have killed off my Naruto. He was still immobilized, and Shisui was the only one with Jutsu. But there we go. We won anyway. Alright, so, ooh, someone has the Shisui and the Itachi, okay, so I actually think, though, that that body Itachi is probably the best one out of the banner, because the Shisui is just, I mean, even though him and Itachi came out at the exact same time, the Shisui just seems so outdated, man, like, he's just so weak, but this guy does have his Kiden Sasuke below the Shisui, so that man is gonna be a lot faster, so we're gonna need to play this smart, we're gonna ignore his full, whole first row, what I think we're gonna do is yeah that might work that might work we could try to hit him into the chakra deck. okay so because the shisu and the obito are weak we're gonna focus them now the obito is faster than my sage no Mo naruto so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this man back now it does look like his shisu is actually significantly slower than i thought he must not have given him pills or something and then of course obito dodges okay so that wasn't in the plan because i wanted to get damage on obito then come in with the final valley naruto from the shisu and hit Shisui and Obito, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> we can't really choose, so that's fine. In that case, then, what we're going to do, because we don't have Chakra anyway, thanks to the um, Itachi there, we're going to hit both of these two, then we'll come in with Final Valley Naruto. Obito is still dodging, though, bro. Chill out. Oh, my goodness. And there we go. That'll get me a crit. Nice little crit right there, boy. And mm, we'll come in with Naruto, yeah, because Shisui's quite weak as well. Here's the Chakra Reduction Field. Uh, can I hit any of them into it? No. Okay, well, we might as well hit all three of these units here. So that'll take care of the three fastest units that he has. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, his Kirin Sasuke is going to probably immobilize my Minato, which is unfortunate because we literally have the Minato ult. So if, if for some reason my Minato could just tank this... Or just not getting mobilized at the very least. We can come in with the ult, and that'll wrap it up very nicely. Come on, Minato. You got to. You got to. Ah, oh, no, he did. But he died. Okay, so I'll actually take that. I will actually take that. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to hit... Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and hit Raged Obito. Man, if my Minato would have just not gotten immobilized or survived that, we would have been perfect. Because the ultimate could have just whoo, smacked Kiden Sasuke around. 
All right, so there we go. We got the immobilization. Now we just have to catch up. Mafano Valley Naruto, I think, did get a shaka reset. So we literally just have to come in and hit him with that and maybe Sage Mode Naruto as well. Um, especially because Obito is the only one in that row. The Sage Mode Naruto won't switch him out, so that's completely fine. So we pretty much won this anyway. It would have been cool to end it with the Minato ult. Ooh, that crit though. Calm down there, buddy. All right, so this dude is actually quite fast with that Sasuke. I might pull out Shisui in that case. Mm, no, because I don't think it'll be enough. The Tachi is just so, so weak. Or he's so slow, I mean. All right, so we might get hit by Kid and Sasuke then in that case, but that's completely fine. We'll also leave out Naruto, who got another chakra reset. Oh my goodness, because he has that damage reduction, which is good. Look at that Obito, bro. Look how weak he is. That is so frustrating, bro. <laughs> like units just don't die. Oh my goodness. And there's no way this is gonna kill Itachi, so hopefully it just doesn't immobilize him. Oh my goodness, bro. It's so frustrating when they just don't die. That always happens to me. But we're pretty much golden anyway because he can't possibly kill off my Kiden Sasuke here. And we're going to just come in with a normal attack. But that is quite frustrating <laughs> that it is taking this long. But that's usually what happens then. I'm surprised my Naruto, bro, he got two chakra recesses this game. <laughs> that man is crazy. Oh, he's going for him too. He doesn't even care anymore, man. Okay, well... I would risk it and come in with the Naruto ult, but nah, this, <laughs> this Obito is about to wake up. So we're just going to jump on in here and just take him out with a normal attack. And there we go. That's the dub right there. <laughs> so that's going to be it for the video today. I hope you all enjoyed this in honor of Itachi's birthday, mixing him together with Shisui. Now, like I said, I think that that body Itachi, which is kind of like the guided Itachi, I mean, um, is the better one, but you know, I don't really have that one <laughs> So I went ahead and used these two now that Shisui is quite outdated Like I said, he's just extremely weak man, and there's so many better choices He doesn't even roll them back as much, but at least he does that at all So that's pretty cool and then the Itachi is quite a tank, but he's extremely slow But we still managed it anyway, so it was a lot of fun using these two But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video